Stardew Valley is a game that you can feel like throwing into the Switch over and over again to spend your time in Pelican Town. However, if you've run out of steam and are looking for alternatives, here are 5 interesting games for you. Stay tuned if you want to learn more and welcome to the Switch Gems channel. The games featured today are in no particular order. I will of course give you some information about each game along the way, however it won't be in the form of a comprehensive review. And now without further ado, on to the first title. Rune Factory 4 Special The Rune Factory series is highly underrated in my eyes and gets far too little attention. I would even go so far as to say that Rune Factory offers the best alternative for Stardew Valley lovers. The fourth part of the series hit the DS about 8 years ago and has made it to the Nintendo Switch in 2020 in a special version with much better graphics and some other improvements. At this point it should be noted that we will also get Rune Factory 3 in a special version this year. Rune Factory covers an incredible number of elements. We have our own farm, we live in a village with tons of characters that we can date and marry among other things, we have an extensive combat system with RPG elements and we actually have a story. I especially like the fact that we can level up and train our character. If you haven't played Rune Factory yet, you should definitely do so. Potion Permit In Potion Permit it is immediately noticeable that the graphic style and the entire presentation is extremely similar to Stardew Valley. However, we are not on a farm, but as an alchemist we take care of the villagers health. Monsters are hunted to collect items, which in return can be converted into healing potions and other resources. Relationships with the villagers are also taken care of, though marriage has not been implemented yet. Above all, the story surprised me in a positive way. Finally, a plot that I haven't experienced 1000 times before. However, the game is actually quite grind heavy, which can lead to boredom at one point or another. Potion Permit is otherwise a really relaxed game with interesting elements that set it apart from its competitors. Moonlighter Moonlighter has a very interesting and for me completely new concept of gameplay. On the one hand we fight our way through various dungeons, defeat monsters, complete boss fights and collect numerous items along the way. When we've had enough of fighting in the dungeons, we head to our own store to sell the items we've collected to the villagers. We can randomly set prices for the items and adjust them up or down based on the reactions of the villagers, so that our customers are always happy when they leave our store. The gameplay really grabbed me, especially in the beginning, but sadly it became a bit repetitive after a while. In addition, I missed the depth in terms of the villages, especially in comparison to Stardew Valley. Nevertheless, Moonlighter is a super interesting game and especially in the sale for little money. My time at Porsche I would describe my time at Porsche more or less as a 3D study valley with a little less focus on farming but a little more focus on dungeons and battles. We inherit the workshop of our grandfather and make sure in the course of the game that it finds back to its old glory. Along the way we fight our way across dungeons and mines, visit the village and its inhabitants to build relationships, set up our house and yes, basically everything we know from study valley. The whole thing works pretty well in my time at Porsche even in 3D. What I did notice, however, is that the dialogues are very often repeated, making the individual villages less memorable. There's simply a lack of dynamics and characters with rough edges. However, if you are looking for a 3D alternative to Stardew Valley, my time at Porsche is definitely a good choice. Littlewood Littlewood is a rather basic looking game, but it has a lot to offer. Unlike most games, we start as a hero who has already saved the world. Our task now is to rebuild the town of Littlewood. As in the competition, we go in search of resources, interact with NPCs, grow fruits and vegetables and fight our way through forests and dungeons. The focus in Littlewood is especially on constructing buildings. This is kind of logical, since we have to restore a destroyed city to its former glory. Littlewood is of course less extensive and in-depth than its competitors, but in my eyes it is the perfect study well alternative for in-between and above all relatively cheap to get hold of. Of course there are some more alternatives, so would you like to see a second part? 
Feel free to write me your favorite alternative in the comments and subscribe to my channel to avoid missing upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Switch Gems.